One of the most common commands that are used on Linux is sudo, and there's a 10-year-old bug in this command that has recently raised its ugly head again and actually become a privilege escalation vulnerability. Yes, sudo, the command that you use to get most important things done in Linux. It has a heap buffer overflow exploit in it. Now, luckily, it's only exploitable by local users, but it does allow them to, without authentication, get full root access. And so far, this exploit has been confirmed to be working on Ubuntu 20.04, uh, Debian 10, and Fedora 33. And it's likely that all Linux distros that are running uh, these specific versions of sudo 1.8.31 and 1.8.27 uh, and 1.9.2 are going to be exploitable as well. And here is the full uh, documentation about how to actually do this buffer overflow exploit. I'll leave a link for this uh, or to this in the description below for you all to read. But the focus of this video, it really isn't just on the pseudo vulnerability uh, because this isn't the first one to be found and it won't be the last uh, pseudo vulnerability that's going to be found. I mean, you can just look up pseudo vulnerability and you're gonna find uh, different links to CVEs from 2019 and uh, I think there's some from 2018 down here as well. Basically just about every year or two, there ends up being a new vulnerability found in pseudo. And there's a couple of reasons why this keeps happening. So first of all, sudo is just a really good target. I mean, it's the program that handles root authentication, uh, running programs as root. So it's gonna be very valuable to a hacker if they can find a good vulnerability on it because it could allow them to compromise almost any Linux machine. I mean, it's an application that's installed on almost any Linux machine. So your scope of targets could uh, get pretty large with this vulnerability. Uh, it's just like how the user account control on Windows that's used to run applications as an administrator, that always has different vulnerabilities that are found in it. It's a common attack target. Uh, now, let's take a look at the GitHub page of sudo because then things start to become a little bit more evident, right, about what the problem is. If you look right here, this project is roughly 412,000 lines of code. Sudo is a very bloated application for what it does. Uh, well, at least for what it's used for really, at least on the desktop Linux space, because there's a lot of functionality to sudo that most users simply aren't using. Uh, you could use sudo to you know, build out elaborate sysadmin rule sets with very specifically defined permissions and checks and balances. That might be good for a company server that's going to have a lot of different people accessing it, people remotely accessing it with different permission needs. But on the Linux desktop, this stuff is not needed. In fact, there really isn't any configuration that's needed for sudo, in my opinion, because your average Linux desktop user, they're not even going to touch their sudo's file. It just literally, to them, it just literally means the same thing as run as administrator. Uh, so for many Linux users, sudo is unironically bloat. Uh, what you should really use is do as instead if you are a desktop Linux user. So this is going to do basically the same thing. Uh, it lets you run things as root. In fact, the BSD folks, they already know about this. They've had do as for a long time and they've been using do as instead of sudo for a long time because it just doesn't make sense to use a super complicated program to just give you root access. Uh, again, if that's what you're doing, if you you actually need to build out some complicated rule set on you know a server or you know on your own machine, if you just want to do it for the hell of it, then sure, use sudo. But do as this is the program you want to be using. It lets you run things as root, just like sudo, except it manages to do this in under 4K lines of code. Uh, so it's going to be way more difficult, or it's going to be way easier, rather, to maintain, and it's going to contain less bugs. And I feel confident stating that so matter-of-factly, because I think history has shown us that sudo has quite a few more bugs in it found than Duaz. Now, I've already shown you guys how to install Duaz on Gentoo. It's right there in the repository, so it's just a simple emerge. For Arch users, it's in the AUR. 
So you can install do as that way. For Linux Mint and Debian users, and I think everyone who is using a Debian derivative, you gotta install it from GitHub. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, now, do as really doesn't have any dependencies. Um, it's, you know, it's a really simple program, so I don't know why it isn't just included in these repos, but just in case you're missing these, uh, you'll want to install these first. So build essential, make, bison, flex, there you go. These are what we'll need in order to build do as from source. Uh, so once you have those installed, we can come over to our terminal and we can get clone uh, this GitHub link. I'll leave this in the description as well. Um, and then you're going to want to CD into that do as directory once it downloads. And then you want to run make and sudo make install. And I've already done this on my system, but this shouldn't take long to do even on slower machines. That's the beauty of using simple software. Um, and now you have do as installed on your system. Um, now we do need to configure it, but again, don't worry. It's extremely simple. Uh, so you just want to vim into your USR local Etsy uh, do as .com file. Uh, and this will also create the file if it doesn't exist yet, it probably won't. Uh, and then you just need to write this line. So configuration is so simple, it's it's basically plain English, right? So permit, and then your username as root, and then right quit uh, that file. Of course, you'll need to uh, do a pseudo vim actually, because you're in a, a root controlled directory. Uh, so once you do that, now you can actually start using do as. And you'll want to add a line um, for any of the other users that are on your system that you need to make root, but most likely you just have the one user. So go ahead and do that. Um, now, once, once you've got that all set up, you can basically use do as the same way as you're using sudo. So now what do we do with sudo? Uh, you could uninstall it if you want to, uh, if you're absolutely sure that you don't actually need any of the extra functionality that sudo provides. Um, another option is to just update it because there are patches that have already been put out for this new vulnerability. Uh, I know that they're available on Arch-based distros, so if you guys just uh, like Pac-Man, SYU, or whatever you do to sync up and update Pac-Man, uh, just do that and then you can update uh, sudo, and then you won't have a vulnerable version anymore. On Linux Mint though, I think our version is uh, still vulnerable. So I updated my Linux Mint partition today, and if I do a um, sudo v to get my version, this is the one I'm running. And I think this one is uh, on the vulnerability list. So what do we do on Linux Mint? Well, we can just quite simply uh, up, we can alias do as to sudo or sudo to do as rather. So that way, anytime you run sudo accidentally, because it's going to be a little bit of muscle memory work to, you know, do this instead of just doing this. Um, but that way it's just going to be alias. So it's going to do do as anyway. So vim into your bash RC or in my case, alias RC, because I already have so many aliases. Uh, and at the top, we're going to want to create sudo equals do as. And let's just fix the formatting here. There we go. And then we want to source bash RC. So now if I run that sudo v, you can see that it's trying to run do as, and it's an invalid option because v isn't a choice, but like if I did sudo help, let's see, that's not a valid command either. Um, I think do as capital S is, so let's see, sudo capital S. Okay, yeah, so it's running a do as. So you get the idea, anytime you type sudo, it's actually going to do do as. There we go. Hope you found the video useful. Bye now.